Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can create your own travel blog in just 30 minutes. And after watching this video, you can create your own travel blog which will have all the complete sections that a travel blog can have. It will have the home page where you can feature all your latest posts, travels, itineraries and videos on the home page. It will also have a blog page where you can write down all your articles and blog posts about any place or itinerary that you want to share. It will also have affiliate link manager so that you can easily affiliate with hotels and other resources that uh, a travel website should have so that you can easily earn money from your travel website. So let's get started with this video. Hi guys, I am Nidish Kashyap from Bloggersprout and in this video, as I said earlier, that within 30 minutes, I will show you how you can create your own travel blog using a hosting provider and a theme that I'm going to mention in this video and you can create an awesome terminal looking website something like this which is Thrillius.com. Thrillius.com is actually my wife's travel blog and she manages this travel blog and using this tutorial she has created her own travel blog so I hope this video will definitely help you since this is a updated version of the previous video that I have recorded. So let's get started. So guys to create a travel website you will need three things. The first is a domain name the second is a hosting and the third is a blogging software. So the very first thing which is a domain name, you need to do a domain name research before buying your own domain name. And to do the domain name search, you just need to come on to the Namecheap which you can visit directly by typing gine.us slash Namecheap or you can also visit directly by clicking on the link given below. Once you visit the Namecheap website, now here you can do the research for your domain name. So basically most of the domain names which are common words like travel.com or traveler.com are already being registered by someone. So just don't go for that domain name. So you need to focus more on the brand name. So just like we registered our own website which is thrill.com ious trillius.com it stands for thrill loving persons or a thrill loving blog okay so trillius.com was when we registered it and you can see that trillius.com it will now show as registered and you can see it here it will show it's not available also do keep in mind that if a dot com is being registered by some user don't try to go for dot net dot org or any other extensions because those extensions are not very popular and you might get very less visits on your website so instead go for a dot com and try to get a domain name which sounds like a brand name okay so for this tutorial we are just going to use nearesttravels.com but in your case do a proper domain name research just go on typing it here and it will easily show you whether this domain name is available or not if it is available it will show you a add to cart button and also it will show you a price so you can see for this domain name it shows 652 indian rupee but you can change it to any currency from this drop down below and these are the currencies that it supports so let's click on us dollar and see what what is the price for this domain name so you can see it says $7.98 for a year and it renews at $13.98 a year, okay? But you don't need to register this domain name from here. We are just using Namecheap as a keyword research tool or a domain name research tool. Meanwhile, you can also check out this generator option. Generator options is used to uh, get ideas for your domain name. So like if I want a website with travel, okay? So I will write the name travel. I will choose the .com as extension. Okay, if you want to generate logos, you can do it. So I don't want the logos because it takes really time and the logos are just hilarious. So I'll just click on generate. So now this tool will show you all the domain name that are available for you to purchase from the starting with travel. Okay, as you can see travelage.com, you can purchase it for $9,999. That's way too expensive, right? But here is something $7.98 and it is to travel e.com so this is right hilarious okay so you don't go for this type of name try to go for that domain name that uh, is simple to pronounce it's simple to spell and everyone can remember it okay so try to choose that kind of domain name once you are done with the domain name so in this case we are done with like nearestravels.com and it's available for us to purchase okay now you need to do is like copy it copy this part because nearestravels.com is available for you to purchase but you don't need to purchase from namecheap so now we are going to do is we are going to purchase our hosting and this hosting provider will give you a free domain name okay so we are going to purchase this domain name from our hosting account for absolutely free so we will just copy this and now we will go to the link which is gine.us less hosting girl. and you will land to this website known as hosting girl. so you can see right now it's an offer with 2.79 dollar a month and a three month trial 
while watching this video if you don't have this option claim the deal don't worry just scroll down below and you will find a hosting plan now here you can find three types of plan for one is for the business one is for the premium where you will get 100 websites with no bandwidth limit and with a 25,000 monthly visit limit okay and the, this is a single website with one website 50 gb of ssd storage and a 10,000 monthly visit so this plan is pretty good for someone who is just planning to start because 10,000 visits a month really will take you time to reach that okay so just click on this add to cart button after that you will be redirected to the cart page here you need to choose the option for how many months do you want to get your hostings so the more the month the less the price and the lesser the month the more the price as you can see it's for one month it will cost you around 10 dollars a month but if you go for 48 months it will cost you around two dollars so it's all up to you whether you can choose it for one year for two years or for four years so the best option is to get for it four years because that is really cheap just if you compare this plan to this plan it's two dollar for a month and this option cost you around three dollars for a month okay so it's all up to you for which plan you want to go so we want to go with 48 months okay so now you need to come here you need to fill in the after choosing the desired plan you just need to scroll down below and fill in your email id after filling the email id just scroll down below and choose the option of using which payment method you are going to pay you can use credit card paypal or any other payment gateway depending on your country so i will choose the credit card payment and i will just fill in the details so and just click this submit secure button after you have successfully completed your purchase you will get an email in your account where it will ask you to click a link to confirm your purchase and confirm your email id after clicking on that link you will get an option to register a domain name absolutely free just paste the domain name that you have earlier copied from the name chip just paste it there and now click on get the domain or purchase the domain and that will never cost you money because it's free from hosting up after you have done that now you can go and install wordpress just click on the home account then click on website and then scroll down below until you find the option to install wordpress to install wordpress you need to fill in some details like the website's title the email account for the admin and the password for the admin and then click on install so once WordPress is installed, click in this login button and it will automatically re redirect and log in to the admin panel of the WordPress. So this will look something like this. And if it looks a little different, don't worry. Just go to the plugins, select all the plugins, click this drop down button and click on deactivate and click on apply. This will deactivate all the unnecessary plugins from your WordPress. And now you will be left with a bare minimum wordpress website this wordpress website doesn't have anything so the first step which we need to do is to go to the settings click on the general once you visit the general fill in the site title and fill in the tagline if you want to have a tagline now come down below and now here uncheck this where it says anyone can register and then choose the timeline according to your time zone and then come down below and click on save changes once this is done you just need to visit the permalink setting now click on permalinks and choose post name as your option and click on save changes once you are done now we need to go to the appearance and click on theme click on add new and click on this search themes type cadence and it will show you the all the theme you just need to click on install button now we have already installed we will click on the activate button so now you can see the theme has been activated so after activating the theme you will get an option which is install cadence starter theme so click on that after a few seconds it will automatically install and you will land on this page don't worry you just don't need to do anything right now now you need to go to the plugins and click this add new now you need to search for cadence again now here are a few plugins that you need to install the first is akismet which is a spam protection click on install now since i have already installed it shows me the activate button we will activate it now search for wordfence and click on install then again search cadence and install the Gutenberg block by Cadence. Once you have installed all the plugins, just go to the install plugins here and you will find all the plugins that you have installed. Now you need to install all the plugins. Since you can see we have got an additional plugins which is Cadence Blocks Pro and Updraft Plus. So Cadence Blocks Pro is the pro version of Cadence and we love to use Cadence Pro version because it gives lots of functionality and features that the free version doesn't have. If you want to get your own pro version, just click on this link which is gine.us so this is the cadence website now here you need to click on the products and click on the cadence theme and click the pro version here this will give you a three options and each one has different functionality for 59 dollars you will get these features while the 129 dollar has all the features that everyone wanted now it's all up to you whether which one you choose 
so i recommend you to go with the bare minimum which is the 59 dollar but if you want to have the blocks pro version go with the 100 since we are going to use the cadence blocks pro in this tutorial we are going to get the essential bundle click on this button fill in all your details here and click on place order once you have purchased it you will get a zip file that looks something like this so all you need to do is like click on the add new button click on the upload plugin just choose this cadence zip file and upload it here and click on install now. this will install the plugin and and you will have this options which says cadence blocks pro extension okay now you will also get the updraft plus backup and restore why because we don't want to lose all our hard work so you feature as well so in order to get updraft plus you just need to visit gine.us slash updraft plus and that will take you to this website now here click on this get premium choose the personal option and click on buy now button now fill in all your details here and click on place order after placing order you will get a same zip file just like the previous one just follow the same steps click on add new and upload the one now you can see we have the update plus options here after uploading and the cadence plus block right now we are going to activate cadence blocks and the cadence block click on this drop down and click on activate and click on apply now our essential things are activated if you get these options here it asks you to update it click on the update now but for this tutorial we i'm not going to update now because it can take time so now you need to come on this appearance click on starter templates here choose the option as gutenberg or you can also go for element we want to go with gutenberg because that is the default wordpress drag and drop version and and this makes your site extremely fun. now you can choose for the free version or the pro version let's check out what the free version has okay the free version has a pretty good themes as you can see here so for this tutorial we want to use this yosemite theme and because i personally like it and this design is somewhere relatable with the travel need so i will click on this and you can see it has all the options like the logo the menu a button to reserve or a button that you can use for call to action it has the photos it has all the things that you need for a travel website and this travel website is pretty beautiful right you can also change the color from this option and i can i will show you it exactly right now so let's choose the blue option and you can see the design and the color of the website you can play with all the color options and choose the one that you like i like this black version and this looks really classy now you can come and change the font style so let's click on this font and you can see the font design changes let's try out each and every one and choose the one that i personally like once you are done with your selection now you will get two options single size single page and full size single page means it will only import the home page and the full site means it will completely import everything from our gallery features each and every page is like contact us we want everything so we'll click on full site now it will ask you to import starter template now you will get this option it will give you the details like what are the things that are going to install and what are the things that are going to be activated okay. it will also give you an ad, um, advanced settings where it will ask you whether you want to import customizer settings and also import the content we just want to import everything now here is an option to subscribe and import but we don't want to subscribe because i don't want the newsletter personally okay so i will click on skip and so i'll fast forward this moment until this thing gets done so our import has successfully done and you can see um, this message that import has been completed successfully now let's see how our website okay so our website is complete and ready and it looks really fantastic so since we are making a travel web blog website so this is a pretty much a travel blog website and we have everything that we want to share with our audience now if you want to edit any of this it's very simple all you need to do is just click on this edit page then it will upload something like this this is the admin panel where you can control everything so now we want to change this now we'll just click on it and you can see this pop-up appears now we will just select all the text that we want to change and we'll write like travel with Neeraj. Okay, so that's done. If you want to change the background image, just click on the background image, a place where other text or any other widgets is not selected. So I will just click on and once you click on the empty space, you will have a menu on your right hand side. Now just look for the background setting and you can see it here. Just click on it and you will find that here is the image. Now if you see this is a circle. Now if I drag and drop, you can see everything change wherever I want to focus. So if you want to remove this image and get some other image, just click on this edit image. Click on this media library and from here you can select the desired image. So here you can see this image is an horizontal image. So I'll click on select. So now you can see the background has changed. But what if we want to adjust this? So we will just use this again and we'll focus on wherever we want now i will just click on this update button once updated you will get a pop-up here 
which says page updated. So I'll just hover my mouse over the view page and right click on it and click open in new tab. And now you have successfully changed the background and the title of this page. So similarly, you can do the same for all of the items here down below. So this is how you can change your entire homepage and make it your own personal. Now you can see we have got a menu and if you want to change the menu, just click on this W button, go to appearance and click on menus. Now here you can see there are a number of menus. Okay. And we need to select the one which is known as primary here. So I will just click on it and click on select. Now these are all the menus that are shown on our homepage. Let's check whether this is the same menu that we want to edit. Now the very first option is schedule then special offers. And yes, this is schedule and special offers. Okay, so now I want to delete all of this and just have the home page block and the contact rest page. So let's click on this bulk select and I will select each and everything. So I want this block page and the contact page. So I'll delete all the other things. I also want the attractions. So let's click now let's select all the other things that we want to delete. So these are the things that I want to remove from my menu. So I will click on remove selected items and we have successfully removed all the unnecessary items. Now click on save menu. Now let's check our page by refreshing it. And yes, we have successfully changed all the menus. So now we are done with our blog and by following these simple steps, you can completely change each and everything that is shown in this homepage and, and make it completely like the way. You now I will show you how you can publish your own blog post. And you can see here there are several blog posts here. Let's know how you can publish your own blog post. So just go to the web website admin and click on post. Here you can see there are several posts. Now to create a new post, click on this add new button, fill in the title. Here is the blog post that you need to write. So on the right hand side, just click on this post and you will have this option as featured image. So I want to select a featured image because this is the main image that will be shown. Now from here, I will select one of the best image that I would like to have. So this image is a pretty good one for me. Now I'll click on set featured image. Within few seconds, you can see the image has been updated. But meanwhile, we can do is like we can change the category. So here is the category that you can have. So let's create a new category and I will try India and just I'll click on this add new category. You can also choose some predefined categories like travel. Now you can see our we have got our featured image. We have got our categories. Now let's click on publish. Now let's refresh the page and we should see our new post in here. Yes, we have got our post. We have got a featured image that looks beautiful. We have got our categories here. We have got the title and we have got the article. We have also got some other details like the username for the one who wrote this article and the date when this article was written. This is how your article will look. So now you have completely learned how you can publish your article on your blog post. Now the next thing is how to secure your website and also how to use the SEO. So I will go back again to my WordPress admin panel. I will go to plugins and click on install plugins. So now for our security purpose, we will install two plugins. The first is Akismet anti-spam. Just click on this activate and click here, set up your Akismet account. This will take you to, to a website where you need to select the personal free account, which is this get personal and just take this scroll bar and drag it to zero. Now just put it in your name email uh, and email id and click on i don't have ads on my website i don't sell products and i do not promote a business on my site and click on this button and now and then you will get a key where you just need to come and set it here if you don't get a key the website will automatically set a key to your website so this is how akismet setting is done and you don't need to do anything else next come again to the plugins and click on install plugins now you need to activate another great plugin, which is WordFence Security. This is the all-in-one security for WordPress, which uses antivirus, firewall and malware scan. So just click on activate button and then click on get your WordFence license and follow the settings. Now in this video, I'm not going to cover the settings since it will take a few minutes more and I don't want to make this video much longer. But if you want to know how to configure this plugin, then don't worry. I have created a video on how to set up your WordFence account and settings. So the video's link is given in the description below. Just watch that video and you will know exactly how to configure your WordFence security. Now we need to come to the plugins again and click on install plugins. Now the last part in security is activating the Updraft Plus premium version. To get the Updraft Plus premium version, visit the link gine.us slash Updraft Plus. Purchase the premium version from there. Upload the plugin as I have showed in this video earlier and just click on this activate button. Once the plugin is activated, you need to set up this plugin. If you want to know how to set up Updraft Plus, then check the description where I have given the link on how to activate Updraft Plus and how to configure it so that you can have automatic backups of your website and you don't need to worry ever after. Once that is done, 
now you need to do is have the SEO plugin. So to have the SEO plugin, visit gine.us rank math. So this is rank math. Rank math is right currently the number one SEO plugin for WordPress and it comes in two versions. First is the, the free version, which will have a limited setup. And the other is a premium version. As you can see, rank math is pretty popular and it is known by one of the top companies around the world. So all you need to do is, is to get your own premium version. So I will show you how to get your own premium version. So come here and click on pricing and from here choose the plan that you like. So if you are a solopreneur or if you are someone who has a single website, then just click on this buy button, which is $59. So you will get this pop-up form. Just fill in your email ID, your name and your credit card details, or even you can choose PayPal also as your payment gateway and just click on this pay button. Once this payment is done, you will have a GIF file and you can upload it to your website. So since I have already got the zip file here, I will do is I will upload it. So I will come back to my WordPress admin, click on plugins and click on add new. So I click on upload plugin and now I will drag and drop the plugins. So this is the base version of the plugin. I will click on the activate plugin. So now we will upload the pro version. So click on upload and choose the zip file. So this is our pro versions zip file and now we will just upload it. So I'll just drag and drop here and I will just click on install now. Now click on activate plugin. So now you have to configure the rank math and I have created a separate video on how to configure your rank math to get the best out of that plugin. So if you want to watch that video, the link is given in the description below. So after configuring the plugin, we need to set the SEO on our homepage. And to do that, we will just go on to the title of our website, which in my case is travel with Neeraj. So it can be different on yours and you will get this option visit site. So just right click it and open link in a new tab. You can see we got an option as rank math SEO. So now click on this edit page button and now you will get this option which shows some numbers and with a red box and if you hover your mouse over there you will see rank math. Just click on that and you will get a new options. So the first is the general option and this is the very important section because this is where you will use this plugin to configure your homepage. So let's click on this edit snippet and now you can write anything for your homepage title. So this is our SEO description and you can see this is how our website will look on Google search. So we are pretty much done with this. So I'll just click on this cross button. And now this is our focus website. The focus website should have the main term for your website, which is your brand name. So I will write travel with Neeraj. Okay. So once that is done and just click on this update button. So now you have successfully updated the SEO setting for your homepage. By doing the exact step, you can, you need to update each and every page that your website has. And also you need to watch my rank with video tutorial where I have shown each and every essential step that you need to follow to have a proper SEO on your WordPress website. So now you have got a complete website with SEO done with security, which has been done and also a backup system that has been created so that you don't need to worry about anything, whether it's SEO, whether it's security or whether it's backup of your website. So you will never lose all your hard works and the energy that you put in to your travel website. So I hope this video has helped you and now you can create your own travel blog with just few buttons and within few hours. So if you have got any question or you are in a doubt that whether this will work or not, then don't worry. You can get in touch with me on my website, which is bloggersprout.com. You can easily come to the bloggersprout.com and click on this contact button and you can just fill, it, fill in this form and you can contact me and I will personally help you and reach to you out absolutely for free within 24 hours. Or if you just want to ask a very short question or you want just some clarity notifications on something then you can just comment down on this video and I will reply to your comment as soon as possible. So if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button which is down below and also subscribe to our channel so that I can create more and more amazing videos just for you so that you can just grow on your own pace. So that's it guys for this video and I will meet you guys on my next video. Till then keep blogging and do whatever you want. Bye bye.